while I was in custody, I met with two Colorado Springs Police Department detectives. And they never mentioned Jeff Bezos, but I'm guessing that's their whole case is he is crazy. He thinks Jeff Bezos is running illegal intelligence operations in Colorado and let's face it, Arizona and um, I'm sure California. Um, there's a reason I go to Rodeo Drive because I go to Beverly Hills because we're rich. Um, all right, so um, I'm making unfounded allegations. Like I was making unfounded allegations that this obese girl who was a senior in high school used to give free drugs and free cigarettes to middle schoolers in order to get them to hang out with them, with her. And then she would hold their hands in front of their families and in front of um, the entire town to say, hey, look, I can molest a middle schooler in front of everyone and no one can do anything. Because the Colorado Springs Police Department doesn't like unfounded allegations. Is it an unfounded allegation that someone shot a bullet past my dad's head? I don't think that's unfounded. Is not is it an unfounded allegation that somehow my hood goes through my windshield? The moment I go to Texas, or a moment, the moment I go to Colorado, I leave Texas, go to Colorado, and suddenly my hood's going through my windshield. Is that an unfounded allegation? Is it an unfounded allegation that someone I've never met before, who's a 26 year old man, punched me in the face repeatedly when I was like 14, maybe 13? Is that unfounded? Obviously it's not. It, what's unfounded is that he's an undercover cop. Everything is, they're an undercover cop, that's unfounded. Jeff Bezos is running illegal intelligence operations, that's silly. That, that's like the silliest thing I've ever heard in my life because you know what, I'm a detective, I'm very smart. The richest man in the fucking world who has access to the CIA servers, is there, there's no way this guy is running a rogue intelligence operation, rogue intelligence operations when he owns the fucking biggest newspaper entire, in the entire city of Washington DC just so that he can spy on the politicians. This is, this is, this is, this is an unfounded allegation. I will use that in court against you, but every, acute accusation you have of the police intimidating you all the time. Every in, in, every accusation you, you're making, you can't present that in court. You have no evidence. That's an unfounded allegation. I'm going to make sure that you can't mention that. The only thing the judges and the jury will see is this note. And then we'll also see that you have a history of, um, you, you're, 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 you support Jeffrey Epstein? You, you think Jeff Bezos is trying to kill you? Obviously, that's a mental illness thing. Personally, I do want you dead because of this lab, and I know you're not crazy about that. Clearly, because that's my entire life work is dedicated to taking down this lab. But, um, that's, but I, no one would ever want to kill you other than me. But I don't want to kill you. Tr I tr trust me, I don't want to kill you. Um, I'm a police officer, therefore I don't want to kill you. That's my logic. I'm a police officer, therefore I'm good. It's kind of like I'm a pastor, therefore I'm good. You know why I'm not a pastor? It's because I never believed that it was possible to live up to those morals inside my shell, inside this human body. I thought there was no way I was capable of meeting the moral requirements to be a pastor, and that's why I decided I would never be a pastor. I'd be a Christian writer, but I didn't understand that pastors will steal your, steal your ideas and steal your book, steal the entire concept of your book, Peace in a Place We Don't Belong. I didn't understand that. But all I'm saying is, like this whole idea that being a police officer makes you good, it's like, mmm. Being a police officer a lot of the time means that you have a black and white, um, perspective on on morals and if there's anything you can decide is that someone that responds to a threat with a like if you threaten me again I'm I'm going to have to I, I, I'm, I'm worried that I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you because I'm gonna react naturally because if you're if you're reaching for a gun I want to reach for my gun and I'm I'm kind of nervous I think you should know I'm nervous um, so all I'm saying is if you understand the full situation but then your court case is trying to make the entire situation, like the full explanation of the situation disappear, then what I'm telling you is that um, you clearly are breaking the law by arresting me, but not only that, you're trying to murder me. And you know that. And you want to leave out the lab completely. And that's, that's why it's, it's pretty clear when you know about the lab, you're, you're definitely committing attempted murder. So, um, I hope that 
all the police officers involved that do know about the lab are under arrest right now, but I'm sure they're not. Um, you guys have the guns. You get to go do security for me, right? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that today. Yeah, this is going to be great. Um, hopefully I'll get my guns back today.